Now, why have I finally spoken? I am making this video because it needs to be made. There are millions of Nigerians that doesn't know about this video. They have no idea what is going on. They don't know about the plan that INEC is planning to do. They don't know it. Now, INEC has openly come to say that they are planning to reconfigure the beavers for the upcoming election, the election that is going to hold on the 11th of this month, 2023. Now, why, if I may ask, why are they finally reconfiguring the beavers? Oh, maybe because they now know that the beavers are not credible. But these same beavers, we are what they used in judging the just concluded elections. Elections, I know this election is not concluded, but they used it in judging these elections. Now they are trying to tell us that they no longer have faith in the same beavers that they used in the former election. Now these same beavers that you guys told us you trusted, these same beavers that made you make the decision of making Tinubu the president, you are not coming to tell us that that beavers is not credible that means that election is null and void and again are you telling me that you're not going to use this opportunity to tweak the results of the just concluded election because our candidate peter obi is going to court to compare and contrast the election materials to check if the results at the polling unit and the results that were entered into the beavers are the same and now you suddenly came out to tell us that you want to reconfigure the beavers so that it will be credible for the next election coming <laughs> I sense something fishy. Same beavers which they made us believe is accurate. They are not coming out to tell us they want to reconfigure it. Now there are two things involved. If you want to reconfigure these beavers, that means the former election that you use these beavers in conducting is null and void because the beavers are not to be trusted. So that means the election is null and void. And again, even at that, these beavers that you are reconfiguring, you're trying to reconfigure. Are you telling us that you are not going to use this opportunity to tamper to tamper with the election results of the former election because that is why our candidate peter obi is going to court to compare the election materials but anyway let's see what the reporters on arise tv has to say about this meanwhile let me give you a little background information very important information this man here talking his name is mahmoud yakubu and he is the INEC chairman of nigeria now this man championed the cause of the current um electoral act we are using now before we were using the electoral act of 1999 nothing was wrong with it except for one thing and what is that thing there was rigging anytime they had elections using this particular electoral act because in that electoral act votes had to be counted and written down in a book and then the INEC officials would take this um these books take it back to the INEC office where they will count the votes and then announce the winner and it was prone to so many rigging because once they have taken it there they can just clean it or write whatever figure they like now this particular man in the name of yakubu mahmoud was one that championed the 2022 electoral act now the only difference from the 2022 electoral act and the 1999 electoral act was that there would be an electronic transmission of votes right from the polling unit at the end of the election the votes will be counted in the presence of the voters and then the votes will be transmitted into the beavers and right from the beavers it will be uploaded into INEC portal this way there won't be any way you can rig it because the voters were right there the elections were counted in their presence uploaded into the beavers and then directly transmitted into the INEC portal this man did everything in his power he was the one that championed the cause he went as far as traveling out of Nigeria and visiting Chatham house to fight for this new electoral act so that the beavers can be included in the electoral act in order to minimize rigging in fact in order to stop rigging we were all happy with it and by the grace of god he won and then the 2022 electoral act was put in place which then made a, a, a way for electronic transmission of votes right from the polling units into the beavers and then from the beavers into the INEC portal the news agency of Nigeria reports that the Independent National Electoral Commission says it will on Monday approach the appeal court for an order to allow it to reconfigure its bimodal voter accreditation system for the March 11 state assembly elections. Many Nigerians have shared mixed reactions, but let me take Rufai's reaction to that particular story. People are saying, why do they want to reconfigure the beavers at this point? And people are saying, it will take a long time to do that. Okay, so uh, the very first thing, I think concerning the INEC chairman and a couple of videos you've played, yes. 
and him coming out say there were flaws. It pretty much reminds me of the song of uh, Inkemawa, popularly known as Ukwa. It's a very important song. He says, Agreement is agreement, yo. It don't reach you for settlement. You can't they tell me nonsense. Agreement is agreement, yo. That's my reaction to all the videos. It was an agreed thing. You went to Chatham House to say it. You said it everywhere in the world. Why are you now telling us all of this when, it reached, when it's the time for you to be able to settle it? And now we're hearing all sorts. You have come out to say the process was flawed. A lot of people told you that, please, if you see that you don't have confidence in the process, some of the things have not come in, why don't you delay announcement of the results to get every factor right? And concerning that tweet, Audrey, I do not think you need to elect the INEC chairman. Mm. I think the problem is the strength of the institutions. That's where the problem lies. So the question is, if the constitution says that it is the commission that will review, till date, are we saying that the commission, which is also filled with other people in INEC, have not been able to review what happened in the election and come out with a report, even as to what even happened to the Beavers machine or the IRF, the technical glitch itself. So it is the strength of institutions, and that's why I think now Nigerians should start looking, you know, at who even becomes wreck in INEC, who grows up the ladder. Because it is when you get strong institutions right. You see, if INEC, we get INEC right as a very strong institution, you will not care who is the head of INEC. Yes. The reason why we are scared who is the head of INEC is because we've not gotten strong institutions right. The question I keep asking you is, who is the head of Electoral College in America? Has anybody even bothered to oh, want to know who is the head of Electoral College? Is, is, no. <laughs> because the institutions have been gotten right. Yes. So INEC now saying he wants to go to court to retweak its beavers. At the 11th hour. At I this mean, time. Wow. Was it also part of the agreement and the guideline that after every elections, beavers will be retweaked? Is it not the same register that will be used? Please, I might be in appeals on this matter, so please correct me. I might be wrong in my assumptions. I mean, I don't shy away when I'm wrong. All right. Maybe you have to educate me. So is it that there must be an upgrade or the same information pre-stored on the beavers that has to do with the interface of the register and all of that is that it's no longer in use of because we don't really know, we don't know. what is happening and is it not just one accreditation that happens that you give people three different ballot units so why are the polling stations changing i don't know and i next should also tell us why out of 176,000 polling units nine days after the election on the irf portal is still 162,000. because as far as i'm concerned the election has not been concluded if all the Pollings have not been up uploaded. Right. And if there's a shortfall, have they been able to tell us what is the reason for the shortfall? I mean, those are the reports we want the to get. The reason for the shortfall is the biggest issue. This INEC glitch, I mean, this Beavers glitch that they complained about. There are a lot of videos that were circulating over the weekend, especially from River State. There was a woman who said that they found, you know, the... Um, ballot papers in the bush there was an INEC uh, official who who actually said that the beavers was not working it was not transmitting results Let, let's just quickly play those videos really quickly before i come to you ayo and uh, dr abati he's been found in the bush which is not supposed to be a student found this uh, ECS4 the result, the result in the booth. Yes, you can see. Imagine election air. Uh, Open the other one. Let's okay. Go. Imagine uh, something is going on and this form is in the booth. So which one are they submitted? This was the one that everybody saw. Everybody saw as their result in the polling unit. But the end of the day is being thrown away. So this is what we are fighting for. God bless you. Please, we are not doing uh, protests again. We are going back to our various rules. And God bless you. And God bless you. And for the reason why you come out, God will give it to us in Jesus' name. Yeah. Pray in your brain also. There's nothing God cannot do. What God cannot do does not exist. Please, my people, make on our listing to us. I am a presiding officer in my pulling pulling unit in 028. Here in Adia State. Tell me. Oh, 
the election we did today, the presidential results is not going. That was no, the first one you tried. And that was the first one we've been trying. But others are going. And we've been trying this for over two hours. To upload it. To upload it. So we have used different and internet. And wow. I have used different internet to see if I can upload this. But it's not if going. I, and if anybody in this our polling unit that is telling you it's going, I will quote that person very Those guys wrong. are doing it offline. They are doing it offline. Offline. Is offline. So that you people can free them to go. Yeah. It's not the way. Please. I must no. say the truth. And the truth. Yeah. Well, everything that these guys are doing here. Well, let us take a tweet from Sam Amadi, um, who wrote, Hell free and fair elections. Obiakbo local government area results in INEC portal. LP 70,000. APC 12,000. Meanwhile, INEC announced something different. APC 80,000. LP 3,000. Just one local government in River State. Oh, see how Tinubu won River State. Is this true? Please let's cross check. Dr. Bati. Well, I mean, it's not in our place to announce INEC results. It's INEC that announces the results. But this is why the political parties have recourse to the courts. And the main job that they have before them is to provide concrete evidence before the court without prejudice to the outcome of the court process. So anybody who has any evidence, the place to go is, uh, you know, the tribunal, the court of appeal, acting as a tribunal in presidential election matters and to provide the evidence there. And I'm sure that their lordships, you know, will act on the basis of, uh, of the evidence that is uh, provided before them. So it's for the lawyers yeah. to do their due diligence. That's one. Number two, should anybody be surprised that, uh, you know, Professor Yakubu Mahmoud has been very good at talking? What INEC has done is a very good illustration of the fact that Talk is cheap. Yes. And in Nigeria, whether it's election or security or the economy or any aspect of our, uh, of our lives, our leaders are victims of that uh, aphorism that talk is cheap. They say things they don't mean. They assure you, assure you, we have always been assured every day. <laughs> we, we have been assured, uh, you know, I mean, if you count it over 1,000 times, <laughs> you know, I since God knows, three videos, since God, I'm telling you, he has a lot more. Since, since God knows when, huh. you know, but these assurances are never backed by evidence or action. The third point is that, look, being INEC chairman from what history has uh, shown us in this country is a graveyard of reputations and Professor Yakubu Mahmoud may well discover that his reputation may not recover from INEC exercise because again he continues to tell Nigerians that uh, uh, those glitches were unforeseeable what kind of talk is that the explanation given by Festo Sukuye was that oh these technical glitches occurred because we have moved from off-cycle election to a major general election. Okay, common sense will tell anybody that in fact those glitches were foreseeable. And we were told uh, immediately after the election of February 25 that the engineers were working on it. Yes. Okay, this is nine days after. Those engineers, are they importing them from outer space? Have they not arrived to work on the so-called glitches? So nine days after that is when INEC now wants to go to court to seek the leave of court to reconfigure I mean, the beavers. Well, talk is cheap. I mean, this truly. is the impunity we're going through. Well, Ayo, in the same vein, though, the governorship candidate of the Labour Party in Lagos State, Balibo Rose Vibo, following attacks from people who believe that he does not qualify to govern the state, said he's an original Lagosian and the true son of his father, who's a lawyer, Olawale Rose Bible. Rose Bible was also reacting to those who said that he was born out of wedlock and not raised by his father. Badebo, in a statement, reiterated, and I quote, I am a Lagos boy. 
and Omo Eko proper, no doubt. To those doubting my Yoruba pedigree, I advise you to read Lagos history. If as a Lagosian, you don't know the Rose Viva family pedigree and our stellar contributions to the development of Lagos, go and check. Well, in, the, in Lagos, you've seen that video oh, of yeah, those thugs. Let's just quickly play that video of people that have been attacking Labour Party supporters. Oh my God, this is Lagos, eh? I'm telling you, tell your governor, whatever you are, I'll be anything, anything. Labor. Top back being you. And what people from Labor Lego. This is Lagos, oh. This is Lagos. She no lori you booni. Eh? Shabbat isn't key you there. If them boy you people were, come and vote for Labor in Lagos. It's either someone you or nobody. Labor for this Lagos. And my Labor Puni. Eh, you show you. You just try that big up. Come vote. Share that bad boy in name. If them boy your mama well. Come be the Lagos State Governor. Ever show football. I, I thought it was important to show this man's face on television so that the police will arrest him. Uh, uh, I mean, what is this? I hope you can, I'm trying to sustain the shock and the disgust on my face having watched that video. It's interesting he says this tribal bigot. Yes. I was like, I can't, I mean, are you for real? Are you being serious? The truth is that why, why is um, GRV, Badibo Revival, under the radar or under um, such scrutiny? Because his mom is of Igbo, is from Igbo, or is Igbo, and from the Igbo parts of Nigeria, eastern parts of Nigeria. And so people have said bringing up his um, records and trying to prove his Nigerianness. So that the hashtag Lagos Island boy had said to trend to show that he's actually from Lagos Island from the Rhodes Viver family of Lagos Island. Thankfully, earlier Dr. Batia talked about tracing his ancestry down yeah. 400 years. Okay, it's exactly. quite a shame that we allow people like this who feel bold enough not to even cover or hide their faces or even the, their voices get a voice. Um, these guys are to, to change their voices, they're bold enough to speak out this way. You know why? Because the people who spoke out in the past, nothing has been done. That's what has happened to the man from Surulere who said that all oh, anyone who is voting for another party was going to be sent out? What happened to the Oba of Lagos when he said that they were going... You know, these things have been happening for a long time. And it's quite unfortunate. I hope Nigerians will be sensible and wise enough not to vote along ethnic lines and resist any kind of division ethnically. Well said. Well, well said, Ayo. In this same country, yes. Umaru Altine, a cattle trader mm -hmm. from Sokoto mm -hmm. was the first mayor of Enugu, of Enugu Municipal yes. Council yeah. and from 1952 to 58. In that same Enugu, there was a man called Babasule. Babasule was also from the north. He was the leader of the stranger movement of Enugu okay. in, uh, in Badron. Bagudu, Bagudu, who later became uh, Waziri Nupi, was uh, a member of the Badron Municipal Council. Thank you, Dr. Bat. Ajaromi Fadonu Badagri was represented in the Western House of Assembly in 1958 by, uh, by uh, Dike. The man's name was Dike. Now, look at many years later, oh. right here in Lagos, oh. we're playing the politics of ethnicity. And by the way, uh, there is no such thing as uh, uh, his mother had him out of wedlock. No. There are no yeah, illegitimate children, children. Yes. in Africa. Yes. Every child has a father yes. and a mother. Well, no well, child well, in Africa is illegitimate. Yes. Yes. It, 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 it's when people well, can't talk about development, they go to ethnicity. Yes. That's just it. Please, well, don't fall for tactics. it. Oh. Cheap right. tactics. Thank you. The people that are shouting, where are they for themselves? Where are they for <laughs> thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you all for your great analysis as always on what's trending. So thank you for watching this video. If you enjoy this information, please do not forget to subscribe to my channel and also like this video, share this video to your friends so that they can also come to hear all the information. And also don't forget to catch me on the next episode of Voice It Like It Is with Modesta Wosu. Peace out.